Lab 20 will use a ring counter that was first introduced in Chapter 9 and challenge you to create a test bench for that counter. Well, it's a fairly simple lab, but one that you may enjoy. Now, in the lab write-up, you will see the, uh, the code for the counter. And then if you'll notice, the challenge is to create a ring counter that shifts the, the true bit to the right uh, from the leftmost, the, the most significant bit position, to the rightmost or the least significant bit position, and then reset back to the leftmost position and count again. And it says that you should uh, run this through three complete cycles. Now I've opened up uh, my command prompt, and you'll see that I am in the iVerilog source directory. So let me compile my code. iVerilog lab 20.cntr underscore ring dot v and lab 20.cntr underscore ring dot tb dot v and that compiled properly then we execute it and you'll see that I have then the one bit the true bit uh, rotates through from the most to least significant position resets to the most significant position and back to the least now I've only gone through two complete cycles and a bit of a third but of course to expand this out to three com uh, complete cycles would be a trivial exercise. Well, that's about it for this particular lab. Good luck with it, and I'll be seeing you online.